Here we are back on our daycare page and we are going to add an image to this page because without an image it's just kind of it's just kind of ugly. So, we're going to go to our back room. We're going to go to our daycare page. We're going to put our cursor right at the beginning of Hilltop View Daycare. Hit enter and hit the up arrow key so that we are now above our title and I'm gonna go here to the add media button and I'm going to hit add an image a little square looking button and this brings up this add an image window and here I can choose to select a file from my computer select a file from a URL or from other website so if there's a photo on another website that I want to put on mine I can do that of course there's there could be copyright issues there I can also add an image from my media library the media library is where all of your images and audio files and anything you upload to your website will be stored after you upload it so if I've already uploaded a picture and I want to reuse it I can find it in there and, and uh, post it on my page but I'm going to get a file from my computer I'm gonna hit select files and here I have a file that I am looking for childcare.jpg gonna hit double click on that and it is loading up onto my site now this photo is very large. That's a thousand pixels wide by 810 pixels tall, which is way too large for my website. And most photos that you get off of a camera are going to be too large for your website. That's okay. You don't have to shrink them down ahead of time because we can actually do it right here on this little window. As you can see here, I have all kinds of options. I can use scissors to crop it and resize it, which we'll do in a different tutorial. I can give the photo a new title, I can give it a caption, a description, I can make it a button by putting a link in here, and making it link to another website or whatever it is that I want. And here under alignment I can choose how I want my photo to appear on the page and if I want text to wrap around it, like we see here on the left option, or if I just want it to sit above the text. I want this photo to sit above the text, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with none. On the size section, I can choose to resize the image while inserting it into my post. I can go full size, which, as I mentioned before, is way too big for my website. I can go large, which is 609 pixels wide. 609 pixels wide happens to be the width of my page. So from here all the way across to here is 609 pixels wide. That's the one I want to choose is uh, is large medium is 300 pixels wide which goes halfway across my page and thumbnail will actually crop my image into a square that is the exact same size as this image you see here it's 150 pixels by 150 pixels I'm gonna go with large and I'm just gonna simply hit insert into post and there is my huge photo I'm gonna hit update page I'm going to go back to my page and refresh it. And there we have our photo. Now as you can see this this image is very tall. It's almost square, not quite, but it's a little bit too tall for my taste. I'd actually like to crop some off the top and off the bottom so that this text will be up higher on the page. I'm going to show you how to do that in the next tutorial.